I was reading reviews before the stream for this, and people thought this was a continuation of 4.1 Iron Rain. Well, that's weird, because Iron Rain is a completely different game. It goes 4.1, EDF5, and then Iron Rain. Let's see, do I even equip a shield? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a mirror shield on. I don't know if it's any good. I don't know enough about fencer equipment to really have that knowledge yet. Yeah, shotguns might have been okay. The problem is my shotguns are bad. Oh, wait. Yeah, I, it's just a very small shield. Okay. So, I brought a very big gun. Yeah, I have the parry shield. Well, learning is fun. This is why I have two weapon sets. Hmm. Grand scheme of things, not really feeling this loadout. I mean, the cannon, cannon shot is satisfying, but that seems to be about it. I mean, I can destroy anything I hit. I just have to hit. It'll do. Ow, never mind. It won't do. I am dead. Can I, like, hop on this thing? Ow! Dude, watch it. No, stop moving for a second. Let me see if I can ride you. Oh, right. You can't actually hear me at all. Is this the right way? Yeah, it looks, looks like it might be the right way. And I, okay, so I can instantly down frogs, but it takes so long that, yeah, I don't know. It'll be, it'll be a little while before I really know what I want on, uh, this guy. I mean, part of it is I really do miss the shield system from, uh, Iron Rain. Damn it. Well. Because the shield, the the fencer shielding system from Iron Rain was amazing. It's like, oh yeah, that enemy's gonna shoot me. Just pop it up. I don't know. I I hope for EDF six they combine. Uh, let's see, what was the Iron Rain shield like? So imagine if you could, without putting away any of your weapons or using up a, a weapon slot, you could instantly just put up like a, a particle barrier. Uh, that would that would just block all damage but drain an energy meter. Uh, it sounded OP. It was pretty dang OP. All the classes in uh, Iron Raid had, had some pretty sweet mechanics. 
Can you block while firing? Yup. Like, if you ever get the chance, Iron Rain is 100% worth it. There's some mechanics there. Uh... That are absolutely worth looking into. So yeah, dual cannons with shield. Uh, flamethrowers actually ended up being extremely powerful. Uh, Gix, you just ran me over and murdered me. Like, cool if you're on a vehicle, but like... A little bit of friendly fire is okay. That is too much. Let's see. Where are we going? Are we going over here? I think we are. Yeah, right, that's the other thing. You can also block self-damage. So you could bring, uh, you could bring, like, dual heavy grenade launchers along. Uh, which turned out to be extremely useful. Uh, cause yeah, group of enemy just walks at you and you'd, uh, you just blast them, all of them, at once, it was amazing. Uh, and you would, you get knocked backwards too, so like, not only would you like, clear half the, uh, half the crowd, but you'd, uh, You'd be away from them. Well, I mean, half of them would be dead, and the other half would be like 20, 30 feet away from you. There were a couple of guns where it didn't work so hot on, but most of the time it worked out quite well. Hmm. I miss that massive vertical boost that I was getting with the uh, mortars. But it, it was actually so bad. Uh, like the. The grenade launcher business was, was so overpowered that uh, people actively told me I had to stop, uh, or people were actively demanding, oh, just don't press W and then jump. Oh, wow, you're right. Uh, but people were like demanding I stop using the uh, grenade launchers because they were that ridiculously powerful. I think this is a dead end. It is a dead end. So we had to... We have to go back around. We... Can't wait until I actually have one of those better dash cells. Yeah, they actually had his double back here. It's actually relatively uncommon. Hmm. Probably shouldn't stand in front of Jemroth. Because at that point, that's my fault. If I get blammoed. Did I get it? I think you got it. I do wish I had more, like, piercing weapons in my arsenal. I've noticed, uh... I've noticed fencers generally are, are fairly... What would I say? Their weapons are straightforward. They might have a blast. Uh, something from the CC piercer. Oh, like a... like a spear? Yeah. 
So all these CC strikers are bad. I will have to look into the weapons because yeah, I don't I don't generally touch touch fencers because they they have kind of a not a weird weapon set. It's just a very slow weapon set for uh, for this game. Where is it? There it is. And speed for me is actually, I'd say, kind of worthwhile. We... Let's see. Is there friendly fire in this? You should dash jump. You mean dash and then jump? That's what I've been... Oh my god! That's... That's a bad hole. Whole place is a bad hole. Oh boy. Well, I think I'm safe here. Never mind. This was not safe. This was altogether way unsafe. <laughs> I was like, hey, let's go down this way. Nope. That's a bad idea. Why would I think that? Why did I do this? See, how do I like the multiplayer in this? It's kind of a different beast. Uh, part of it is I definitely play less well. When I'm playing multiplayer, I, I'm a little bit more... Um, I'm not going to say casual, but I, I very much am just kind of like doing whatever. Uh, trying new things instead of trying really serious builds. Unfortunately, that leads to me being like, why does this work this way? Rah! Let's see. And yeah, so if I if I knew fully what I was doing, I might be better. I, and if I was playing solo, I'd have to learn harder. But instead, I'm just like, meh. Well, I guess while I'm here. I'm just going to pull up Twitch in my uh, secondary monitor, because it is not functional on Chrome at all today. So maybe there's no reason to having Chrome open at all. Because, yeah, it keeps disconnecting me, which is wildly inconvenient. Uh, I hope none of you have tried reviving me. Yep, there it is. Ah, oh, bad timing. Well, I guess I'm actually in a relatively safe position. God, the reload time on the cannon shot. It's probably one of my favorite weapons I've got so far, but oh god. That reload time. It does not feel good. I was actually having that problem with like a whole bunch of rain, uh, ranger equipment in this game. Uh, shotguns were notably one of them. That I remember... Uh, I remember really liking the idea of the shotguns in both EDF-5 and Iron Rain. Or, weren't they ridiculous in EDF-5, but not ridiculous? I don't remember. Okay, so some of my things just got upgraded. I should probably take a look. So, Force Blade, the Deflection Shield, but I shouldn't be using Deflection or Mirror Shields. And Gatling got more capacity. Cannon Shot. This is the other one that I had been using previously. Well, the reload time got a little bit better. Damage got a little bit better. I don't know if I'm going to use it, though. Dispersal Mortar does more damage. It, if you notice, half these reload times are like five seconds, and it's like, eh. Okay. Eradication plan. Do we... Hmm.
Okay, so I liked the idea of the Gallic Heavy Cannon, but yeah, that reload time. Do we have anything that has a reload time that is less than... two seconds? They use hand cannons. I only have one hand cannon, and they are the, uh, they're the starter hand cannons. I could, but like, god, that sounds like a bad idea. Next hand cannon is level 20. Uh. Uh. Uh, let's see. I guess the f flame revolvers have pretty good range. Or not pretty good range. Uh, they're pretty good reload time. I'm going to try that. The hand cannons have insane DPS. With muzzle stabilizer. Okay, we'll just try the real basic hand cannons and, uh, muzzle stabilizer. I mean, it does do 100 damage. This is not a terrible idea. It just feels unsatisfying. Ugh. Okay, am I logged in? Cool, I am logged in. How do I go to my own dashboard? I don't want to watch my own stream. Okay, do I have chat? There I do. Oh boy. This is a completely different layout than what I'm used to. So I'm just going to work with what I got. Okay. Well, at least I can see things now. So, close enough. Well, I'll give it credit. It looks like it's it's effective. I think I need to get a better muzzle stabilizer than the one I've got. Because, yeah, 40% isn't quite exactly what I'm going for. Oh, hey! This is the mission where Godzilla shows up. Now, if I remember right, this is one of the... Well... I don't think you can even take him out at this stage of the game. He's just here until you drive him off. Oh, this is gonna suck. Why me? How's it unsatisfying? You have two cannons on your arms. Because they're level zero. These are the starting weapons. I mean, at the same time... Rapey rain. I mean, it is, it is definitely doing damage, maybe. Okay. Should probably switch out this hammer now that I'm thinking about it. Hello! I am up in your butthole. With my cannons. Please leave. At least this guy's slightly less AoE-tastic. I'm still dead. Hey, kicks! Mind giving me a pick-me-up? <laughs> I just ragdolled right past you.
Thank you. I'm gonna go grab some health. <laughs> Look at all that grape. Honestly, well, sup? He's, he's disease. He is going to laser me in the face again, isn't he? Well, not before I grape myself. If he starts going yellow, I'm leaving. Yeah, you're right, this is actually pretty rad. You're alive, good luck. Don't squander what little life you have left. Because I certainly didn't give you a whole lot of HP. I think he's leaving, actually. Is he? It's really hard to tell. I'm just gonna assume he's not. But there's an armor pickup that I've totally neglected to grab. So I guess I'm gonna snag that. Ooh, sweet. Big HP. Mine. I'm moderately more survivable than I was, like, ten seconds ago. Means I can maybe help revive somebody. Yeah, this mission is just a damage threshold, not a timer. You know, I actually have no idea. I think it could be both. Because the NPCs are actually enough to, like, take him down. It just takes forever. Okay, it was a damage threshold in 4.1 as well. Ooh. That actually got anybody though. This is very great beat. Come back, you beast. I will randomly recruit NPCs for no reason here. So they may die with me. Uh, hopefully the next hand cannon has an even better reload time. This is... Staring this guy down is disconcerting, to say the least. I do kind of wish you could actually see surface damage on him. Like, you can kind of see it on some of the other characters. Uh, like on the ants and stuff, they get covered in great. I'm pretty sure you have to kill this guy. Not in this one. Uh, you do kill them ridiculously fast and ridiculously early in, um... Yeah, when you can kill the guy, he is, he is absolutely killable. But, uh, I think the only one that really hoodwinks you with the, like, really, really early, uh, Godzilla kill is actually Iron Rain. Because I think Iron Rain was the, uh, was the one where it's just like, oh, when you can kill him, he gets dunked in grape. That's what it is. Look at those, look at those buildings! They're just graped up! Look at that! <laughs> You kill him faster than Iron Rain, then the roller shows up. Yep. This one just has, like, a secondary monster that shows up that's more of a pain in the ass.
He doesn't really like what we're putting down, does he? I'm gonna get clobbered. I didn't get clobbered. I'm impressed and concerned. How have I not been stepped on yet? Oh no, Ventersol is back up. Oh, camera. Camera sweeping. We. I'm not even paying attention to whether or not I'm hitting him anymore. I'm just shooting. I feel like he should drop HP pickups or something at like periodic points. Or I don't know. Who are you aiming at? It's probably somebody still in one of these buildings and they're like staring out the window at everything and suddenly just like an absolute deluge, a tsunami of grape just shows up to uh to just coat the building they're in. Fed for weeks. Then they probably mutate into something horrifying. And that's just kind of the end of it. Uh, is he start? No, he's starting to look pretty grapey. Actually, I think part of it is we're just doing this mission on hard mode. This is how I get slam mode. How? How? You're behind him. I... You just got... He passed wind and you died. That's how this works. Because you have unlimited ammo. Yeah, wasn't there one EDF game that actually had, like, limited ammo values and it was brutal? I know they have a couple of, uh... Uh, I know they have a couple of weapons in this one that cannot be reloaded. But, like... One of the, was it Insect Armageddon? Whatever, it was one of the early ones that they tried to bring to the West, and for whatever reason they thought, yeah, I am thinking of Insect Armageddon. Oh, nope, there I go. Survive Vintersoul. I mean, luckily, because he just went, he just one-shots all of us, it does kind of make it kind of easy. Because it doesn't, he doesn't hit us that often. He just one-shots us. Please die. Oh, Insect Armageddon had infinite ammo and sweet spot reloading. Huh. Please leave. I would like to go do a mission that has loot drops. Thank you. You don't remember this guy being so tanky. We're on hard mode with four people using mildly inferior guns to some degree. Like, I know Jemroth and uh, Vintersoul are, are kitted out, but I'm not. This is why I would like an HP bar in these games. Because, oh boy. Because he has been, he has graped all hell and back. Is he leaving? Every time he heads for city limits, I'm like, please just leave.
Ah, ah, ah. And I'm dead again. I wonder if you can block that. Probably not. I can only imagine that trying to put your shield up and having him go over you would not function. I think it would just be dumb. Uh... Wait, did you just block him or- oh wait, no, he's leaving. I have the dialogue turned off so I, I can't hear it. Somebody got really mad at me for turning the dialogue off, but it, it really does, like, make my, uh... It, it makes my commentary much, much easier, because I could just sit here and talk, as opposed to having to listen to people just shouting about stuff. I could... Oh. Oh, hey, Crimson. That said, uh, let's see. Is it Vesta? Goodbye, Vesta. Hello. Where is it? Bulge laser? Bulge laser. Kamui? Nah, Kamui's probably fine. Neutralized cannon. I wonder if I have a replacement for it. We have the single barrel cannon. I'm gonna probably go rocket cannon. Because we need AoE for this one. I mean, otherwise I could just keep with my fencer. Yeah, you know what? I'm committed, I'm committed to this. What I should do is change my colors. Let's see, why for custom colors? Okay. Uh, let's see. Should be fine. Do I want to try? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna roll this. We'll go from we'll go from here. Yeah, this is a really good uh, mission for gear farming. Uh, I guess kicks in kind of the early game. Yeah, niggling would be good. The only question is whether or not the enemies actually. Uh, I'm not going to say the enemies give you breathing room to do so, but it's not uncommon for uh, for the Nagling to just get overwhelmed really early on, uh, especially against a bunch of ants. 